Hello, Bees Bladers! Welcome back and welcome newcomers to the channel. Well, if you're familiar at all with Tempest Knives, well, you've seen what they've come out with, right? Well, the first two that I purchased were the Tempest Pinion, and then I purchased the Tempest Microburst, and I love all of these so, so much. They are such good knives, and I'm probably going to be giving one of the Microburst away if I'm able to do it, and I'm probably going to do that for channel members, but I digress. Let me show you the new knife that is headed our way from Tempest Knives. I hope you're having an absolutely fantastic day today, and if you're not, well, cheer up. Start having a better day, and you know, I'm sure to fumble on my words or do something so stupid or silly that might bring you a laugh. And oh yeah, I got to see this at Blade Show and now I get to see it again. This is the Tempest Knives Jetstream. Would you look at it? Just look at it. No, it's jet streaminess. And boy, is it nice. Now, here's something I know already. There's a few changes that are going to happen. So if you order this, you're going to get it with the changes that I tell you about. And the first is that there's going to be striping or there's going to be micro milling on these scales, which is, oh man, there's nothing better than titanium scales with micro milling. That is my ultimate. That is my favorite. So you're going to get micro milling scales and the micro milling is going to be diagonal. So it's going to go this direction or that direction so I, that is going to be a major plus and look how clean this knife is and before I get the knife out look at this see here if you don't like flipper knives because the flipper sticks out I love and by the way this was designed from by KC over at the knives fast channel on YouTube and if you haven't gone over and subscribed to him you might want to because the dude knows his knife check this out you ready to see the blade I can't re I can't decide which way I want to do it I'm gonna reverse flick it ready Pow! Right in the kisser. Oh yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Look at that. You talk about a clean looking knife. These will be eight inches from tip to tip with a three and a half inch blade. It's four and a half inches closed, so it's not a giant knife, but it will fit large size hands. It's coming in at 4.9 ounces, so it has a little bit of hefty heft to it. Your blade's gonna be 154 cm with a high, shallow, hollow grind. Yeah, you heard me, hollow ground, baby. And look at this. See, you can tell that a YouTube knife reviewer designed this knife because they know how to do the jimping on a flipper. It goes all the way around so you don't get slippage. You don't want slippage on your jimpage. Ooh, yeah, this is, ooh, 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 yeah, I like it. <laughs> the ergos are fantastic. And the first thing I noticed it was that the jimping doesn't go out very far, but you know what? I've already been told by the designer that the jimping is going to be extended. So that way, instead of just, just hitting part of my thumb, the jimping is going to come out here to give me a really good lockdown. Now these have a captive pivot, which they have a very nice pivot. And there's going to be a couple different versions. There's going to be a reverse tux and a bead blast it or a bead blasted or a black wash. And something else, if you've been wondering, this is going to be improved. There's either gonna be a choil or the, the plunge grind is gonna be flattened out. So that, for all you that like, like to sharpen your knives like I do, that is going to be addressed and taken care of. So you won't have to worry about that. And can you just see it now with a big hollow grind in there? That is gonna look so good. Oh my goodness, it's gonna look good. So this, the prototype works very well. It doesn't have the strongest detent by any means, but that was another thing in the notes that the detent is going to be strengthened. So that's not gonna be an issue either. You could tell that all those things aren't gonna be something to be concerned with. I really like the looks of it. You have a ample fuller that you could probably use if you like to open it up with your index finger which is, it is a way to, you open it up and your hand is ready to hold the blade or to hold the knife. <laughs> I can't remember the time, last time I held a blade. That probably wouldn't have been a good thing, but the reverse flick is very good. And this flipper works so well. That was such a, an ingenious. KC, Mr. Designer, sir, you're a genius. That was a fantastic idea to add the flipper because I am a flipper fanatic. A lot of folks don't like flipper tabs on their knives, but I do. I really like a flipper. And how about a couple size comparison? How about the Tempest Knives Microburst and then the QSP Penguin? You know, everybody should have a penguin, right? And we'll take out the penguin and put in the pinion. There are three knives from Tempest Knives. They all look very, very nice. And here's a couple more quick size comparisons. One that it kind of reminded me of, here is the Concept Model 6. So if you like this design, this clean style, then that's one that it looks like. And then one more, how about this one, a Largen, a Largen, the Kubi Master Chief. How about them apples? 
So if you're familiar with any of those bad boys, that should help you ring it in. The Jetstream is definitely a winner in my book. And you know, the, the final version is gonna be that much better than this one here. It's gonna have all the improvements that that one of us might prove it, check out or look for. And this one, you know, the fit and finish of the of the prototype, eh, you know, it's gonna be different than the final version. The vinyl version I think is going to be fantastic. And the pre-orders for these bad boys, so definitely set your clocks for the first week of July because I'm that's what I'm considering early July. That's when you're gonna be able to pre-order these. And the pre-order is always a way better deal than waiting. So, you know, those who hesitate, pay more. <laughs> I think the price is gonna be phenomenal at 129. That That is a fantastic price for what you're gonna get with this bad boy. And I do like the filler tab and you know, just, oh yeah, it's something else I didn't even point out. Look at that. All you lanyard lovers, you have a place to put your lanyard without having the hole through the scale so you still get that nice clean look. So tell me what you think about the new Jetstream by Tempest Knives. Do you like it? Are you good, bad, and indifferent on it? And if you don't have an opinion on it, well, leave a comment anyway. Tell me how you're doing. Say hi to everyone. And if you know somebody that likes knives at EDC gear, share this video with them. And if you're not subscribed, you better subscribe so you don't want to miss what's coming up on Bees Blades. Go watch this video. You're really going to enjoy that. And until I see you again at the hive stream or the live streams or the chats or the comments, remember, live life in the present, keep a band-aid handy, and don't cut yourself.